The HR15C Rockwell Tester. This unit is easy to use, has an LCD screen, has the ability to auto convert to different scales, and is economical. The HR15C Rockwell Hardness Tester. This particular hardness tester is very easy to use. We have our LCD screen here that shows our parameters as well as our results. We have our load adjustment knob over here. Right now it's set for 150 kilograms and we have a diamond indenter. So this is going to give us a Rockwell C scale. To make the measurement, let's go ahead and locate our specimen and then go ahead and rotate the stage up or the screw up. There's a value here, you'll see an increase up to a value of 580 and then it'll chirp. At this point it'll apply the minor load. Once the minor load's applied, it'll switch over to the major load and apply that load for the set dwell time. And that second chirp will show you the hardness value on the LCD screen here. If you're ready to print your results, there's a key here called PRT. But what you need to do first is you need to back off the stage, take the load off, and then hit print. The HR15C control panel. The LCD screen here is showing the parameters that we have set for the system. Right now we're set up to do an HRC or a Rockwell C hardness test. The dwell time is shown here. The number of tests we've done would be shown here. A date stamp is shown at the bottom. The ID will display which indenter is required, in this case a diamond indenter. The force that's also required for this scale is 150 kilograms. So to do an HRC measurement, we need a diamond indenter at 150 kilograms. If we wanted to change any of these parameters, we could go into Rev1 and press that key. Now you can see the items that we can change, including the scale, the conversion, dwell time, and the date. And then we can just scroll to the different scales here. We'll leave it at HRC. Now if this measurement here or this number here is not showing zero when we first start without any load applied, we'd want to go ahead and clear that or reset that to zero with the CLR button. Delete would be used to delete the last measurement if we weren't happy with that. And display will show the displayed value of the measurements that have already been made. It should be noted that the first measurement that you take will not be included because this is to essentially set the system and so it's good practice that the first indent is never used. So let's go ahead and make a quick measurement here. What you do is you'll see that this will count up to a value of 580 and then there will be a little chirp and that's when you stop applying the load through the screw. At this point the minor load is being applied and then it will convert over to the major load and you'll see that the dwell time will count down to zero. And when it chirps again, this is showing you the value. So now you can see that we have number zero here. So if we tried to print, we wouldn't print anything or we wouldn't have anything displayed as well. So let's go ahead and back off the screw, go to another location, and let's go ahead and make another indent. Again, we'll take this up to a value of approximately 580. So now you see we have a value for the first number or the first test right here. Now let's go ahead and back off the load here. Now if we press display now, it's going to show the results of the first measurement that we've made. And as we continue to add more and more measurements, it'll give us a minimum, a maximum, and an average. And if we're ready to print our results, we can press the PRT button and then 
results are printed.